Hello students, warm welcome to all of you. Today in this module, we are going to discuss 15th chapter in our grade 9 CBSE curriculum that is probability, right. So, what is this probability is all about? See, we come across so many number of things which are happening around us and everything can be related with probability. And even in previous classes, you learn about uh, probability already. In this concept of probability, what are we going to learn? And what is the physical significance of the concept called probability? So, how are we using this concept called probability? Basically, what do you mean by this probability? What is the classical definition of probability? See, generally, when you pose this question, then definitely everybody says that probability means number of favorable outcomes by total number of outcomes. They say that, that is what is the classical definition of probability. That is what is the probability, the formula for getting the probability of occurring an event. But what do you mean by probability? In general, what do you mean by probability? So, probability means that is called a possibility, a chance. Probability means a chance. But according to our mathematical language, here we need to measure the chance we need to measure the chance. So, when you toss a coin, generally if we come across, when you toss a coin, then we see that heads may occur, otherwise tails may occur. So, what is the chance of occurring tail, otherwise head? So, chance of occurring tail or head. So, tails will come 50 percentage and heads will come 50 percentage. Right? Because there is equal chances of occurrence of an event. So, equal chances are called equally likely outcomes. Equally likely outcomes. Equal chances are there for occurring an event. It means there are equally likely outcomes. Right? So, how do we define the word probability? So, probability is a measure of chance. Probability is probability is a measure of chance, measure of chance. So, this is what is the definition of probability. So, here we need to measure our chances, we need to measure our chances. So, then that measurement of chance is said to be probability, right. So, for example, when you are rolling a die, then it has six sided dice for example, when you have a six sided die, then when you are rolling it, then what is the probability of occurring number 1 on the face, number 2, number 3, number 4, number 5, number 6. So, they are all equally likely outcomes. So, for that we already have a formula for probability of occurring an event. So, probability of occurring an event is going to be probability of an occurring an event. So, probability of E is equal to number of outcomes favorable to E, number of outcomes favorable, number of outcomes favorable to event E divided by total number of outcomes, total number of outcomes. So, this is what is the classic definition of probability. So, probability of occurring an event is equal to number of favorable outcomes to E divided by total number of outcomes. For example, when I am tossing a coin, then I might get head otherwise tails. So, total number of outcomes are tails as well as heads, there are two outcomes, right. So, total number of outcomes is equal to 2. Then what is the probability of getting head? the same as probability of getting tails also, right. There is only one head on a coin. So, that is why 1 divided by total number of outcomes will be 2, one is head and one is tail. So, 1 divided by 2 that is 50 percentage. Similarly, probability of not getting this event also 
same that is 50 percentage because when I am getting heads it means I am not getting tails right. So, whatever the probability of getting an event and is same as probability of not getting an event when you are tossing a coin a single coin. So, here but that may not be same in other events for example, when you are rolling a dice then what is the probability of getting number 1. So, probability of getting number 1 in the sense there are totally 6 sides. So, 6 faces will be there. So, 6 numbers will be there. The probability of getting number 1 is 1 out of 6, but it is not same as probability of not getting 1. If probability of getting 1 is 1 out of 6, then what is the probability of not getting 1? Then it can be 2 by it can be the number 2 or it can be the number 3 or it can be the number 4 or it can be number 5 or it can be number 6 right. So, there are again 5 more chances of probability of not getting an event right. So, that is why here we can understand one thing that P of E is probability of getting an event then P of E complement P of E complement is said to be probability of not getting that event probability of getting an event, probability of not getting an event. When you observe that probability of getting an event and the probability of not getting an event is always equal to 1, is always equal to 1. How can I say that it is always equal to 1? For example, I am taking a fair coin, unbiased coin. So, then what is the probability of getting tails? Probability of getting tails is equal to 1 out of 2 what is probability of not getting tails probability of not getting tails is nothing but what probability of getting heads so probability of getting heads is also is equal to 1 by 2 right so when i add both of them then probability of getting tails plus probability of getting not which is not getting tails is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 which is equal to 1 so what does it mean P of T plus P of T complement is equal to 1. So, that is why P of E plus P of E complement is equal to 1. So, it means probability of getting an event plus probability of not getting an event is equal to 1 and probability of getting any event should not exceed 1, should not exceed 1 because uh, for example, I have 5 natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, for example, if I take an event that I should get a natural number, I have only 5 natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, what is the probability of getting an event that my number should be less than 6? My number should be less than 6 is nothing, but I have 5 numbers, all those 5 numbers are less than 6 only. So, definitely whatever the number I take, definitely it should be less than 6. So, my probability of an event is 1, why because whatever the number that I take, so definitely I will get the number which is less than that number right. So, how can I say that? I can say that probability of getting 1 is 1 by 5, probability of getting 2, 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 4 by 5, 5 by 5. So, here every single number 5 by 5 is nothing but that is 1. So, probability of getting that particular number which is less than 6 is always 1. So, that is what called probability of getting an event is 1 is called a sure event or certain event. So, that event has to happen compulsorily. So, that is why probability of getting an event is maximum 1, it should not exceed 1. And what about the minimum prob probability, minimum probability of getting an event? For example, I am taking the same example 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So, what is the probability of getting a number which is more than 5? I will never get a number which is more than 5 because I have only the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, what is my probability? My probability is 0 because it will never happen. So, probability of getting an event can be 0, probability of getting an event can be 1, probability of getting an event can be between 0 and 1. So, finally, I understand one thing that probability of getting an event should not less than 0 and should not exceed 1. So, probability of getting an event always lie between 0 and 1. Okay? It can be 1 also and it can be 0 also. It can be the number between 0 and 1. So, we have some particular definitions of probability and uh, what kind of events we are going to discuss. And in this concept of probability especially in grade 9 we have very limited content which is given in probability 
even uh, this is absolutely useful uh, in cracking the problems which will which will be given in board examination of grade 10 uh, will be very much useful in this grade 9. Let us have a look on this what are all the things have been given in the concept called probability. See here probability of getting an event okay? probability of getting an event we have events otherwise trials okay events otherwise what kind of events we have like tossing a coin rolling a die and moreover if you have a deck of cards deck of 52 cards and taking or drawing one card randomly that is also one event okay so these are all events and uh, see here events and moreover what are the outcomes here outcomes are nothing but when you are tossing a coin the outcome will be either getting a head or getting a tail so that would be called as outcome see here p of e complement so p of e complement is nothing but probability of not getting e not getting e is nothing but probability of non occurrence of an event so it will not happen for example when you are rolling a dice what is the probability of getting a number 1 and what is the probability of not getting one so not getting one is nothing but non occurrence of an event okay so that is indicated by p of e bar and uh, if you see the indication p of e p of e is nothing but probability of getting an event e probability of getting an event e is indicated by p of e and what is the classic definition of probability see here probability of getting an event is equal to favorable outcomes here number of favorable outcomes divided by total outcomes total number of outcomes so number of favorable outcomes otherwise um, the total number of outcomes favorable to event e divided by the total number of outcomes we already discussed and just now we discussed about this what is the probability and what is the range of the probability of getting an event probability of getting an event always between 0 and 1 of course it can be 0 as well as can be 1 also right so possible events are probability of getting one what do you call that probability or what do you call that event that is called sure or certain events when p of e is equal to one means probability of getting an event is equal to one then that event is said to be sure event or certain event probability of getting an event is equal to zero then what do you call that event it is called an impossible event means it will never happen right so this is what uh, that gives you a clear cut idea on probability and coming to this these are very important points that you need to remember okay of course we discussed just now uh, trails what do you mean by a trail so trail is an action which results in one or several outcomes so when you are tossing a coin rolling a die and drawing a card from the deck of 52 cards so these are all trails okay and uh, see here I just now explained example see a probability of getting an event is equal to number of favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes okay see throughout this chapter we talk about what is the probability of getting an event what is the definition or what is the formula of, of getting an event this is what is the only thing we discuss and we keep talking about throughout this topic okay please do remember that and the probability of an event always between 0 and 1 and it can be 0 and 1 also see the probability of any sure event we just now we discussed and probability of an unsure event unsure event is nothing but an impossible event impossible event is equal to 0 and the sum of all the probabilities of all the trails of an event is equal to 1 probability when you are tossing a coin what is the probability of getting 1 what is the probability of getting 2 getting 3 getting 4 getting 5 getting 6 so when you are rolling a dice all these outcomes will be there all these probabilities will be there when you add everything what is the probability of getting 1 it is 1 divided by 6 probability of getting 2 also 1 by 6 because there is only 1 2 what is the probability of getting 3 1 by 6 1 by 6 1 by 6 when you add all these 6 numbers then it would be 6 by 6 is equal to 1 so that is what the sum of all the probabilities of the trails of an event trails of an event is going to be 1 and here the sum of the probabilities of happening and non happening of an event is going to be p of e plus p of e 
complement is equal to 1. It means probability of getting an event plus probability of not getting an event is equal to 1. Hope you understand this concept that uh, what are all the salient features given in concept of uh, probability and let us have a look on the problems given in this concept called probability. right? Now, coming on to the very first problem, if the probability of an event, see these problems can be solved easily, but the only thing is you will have to use the formula effectively, that is it. Okay? If the probability of an event to occur is 55 percent is, then what is the probability of non-occurrence of an event? So, better try to produce the result in decimal form, okay? because probability of occurrence in event is always between 0 and 1, right? so better try to produce the result in decimal numbers. So, coming to the problem here, if the probability of an event to occur, so for example, E is an event, then probability of occurrence in event is equal to 55 percent is. So, what do you mean by 55 percent is which is equal to 55 divided by 100, 55 divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.55. So, 0 0.55 is probability of occurrence of an event. What do you want here? Then what is the probability of non-occurrence of an event? What do you mean by this non-occurrence of an event? Non-occurrence of an event means probability of E complement is equal to how much? In order to find probability of E complement, we know one thing the relationship between P of E and P of E complement that is P of E plus P of E complement is equal to 1. The value of P of E is equal to 0 0.55 plus we do not know what is P of E complement which is equal to 1. Therefore, P of E complement is going to be 1 minus 0 0.55. What is 1 minus 0 0.55? 0 0.45 this is what is probability of non occurrence of an event right see how simple it is just we are depending on the formula that is p of e plus p of e complement is equal to 1 hope you understand let us move on to the next problem see here the next problem is a bag contains two red balls three green balls and one white ball okay so this is a bag and this bag contains two red balls. So, these two are red balls, red balls are two and then three green balls. So, green balls are three, one, two, three green balls. So, green balls are three and then one white ball. So, there is only one white ball. So, I will write here red balls are two, green balls are three, white ball is one. So, totally how many number of balls are there? The total number of balls is going to be 2 plus 3 plus 1. What is 2 plus 3 plus 1 which is equal to 6? So, the total number of balls is equal to 6. What do you want here? What is the probability that the ball picked up is black? How many number of black balls are there? There are 3 black balls. Are, there are 3 black balls. So, if you pick up the ball, it should be a black ball and probability of getting a black ball is going to be number of <coughs> number of favorable outcomes number of favorable outcomes to be divided by total number of outcomes total number of outcomes correct see first of all how many number of black balls are there the total number of black balls are 3. So, favorable outcomes equal to 3 divided by total number of outcomes is going to be 6. So, 3 divided by 6 which is equal to 1 by 2, 1 by 2 is equal to 0 0.5. So, probability of drawing a black ball is going to be 0 0.5. Right? So, at the same time if I ask you what is the probability of not getting a black ball? probability of not getting a black ball if I would say not getting a black ball is going to be 1 minus probability of getting a black ball. Just now we discussed about one of the problems that probability of non occurrence of an event. So, P of B plus P of B complement is going to be 1. 
So, P of B complement is 1 minus P of B, P of B is equal to 0 0.5. So, here 1 minus 0 0.5 is also 0 0.5. So, here in this particular case probability of occurrence of an event as well as probability of non occurrence of an event is also is equal to 0 0.5. So, both of them are same right. So, moving on to the next problem. So, here the next problem is in the word mathematics what is the probability of choosing OL ok. First let me write the word mathematics M A T H E M A T I C S. How many number of letters are there in this word? So, total number of letters, total number of letters are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, the number of letters is equal to 11. So, what are ovals here? So, ovals are what are ovals? Let us try to circle them. So, ovals are A, E, A, I, that is it. I do not find any other oval here. So, that the number of ovals are A, E, A, I. So, A, E, A, I. How many are there? There are totally 4 ovals are there. So, that the favorable outcomes, number of favorable outcomes equal to 4 and total number of outcomes is equal to 11. So, therefore, probability of getting a vowel is equal to number of outcomes favorable to the event is 4 divided by total number of outcomes is equal to 6. So, 4 divided by 11 is what is the probability of occurrence of an event that event is probability of choosing a oval. But as I said it has to be in decimal form. So, how do you write it in decimal form? I can write it as 0 point now it is 40, 11, 3 sir 33 ok and then 70, 11, 6 are 66 ok. So, approximately this is 0 0.36 is the probability of occurrence of an event right. Hope you understand. Moving on to the next problem. Here the next problem is during an interview for estate manager 15 candidates appeared out of which 8 were retired army man and 4 were retired principals and 3 others from different departments. What is the probability of selecting a retired army man for this post? So, here you need to write the information given in the problem. See here totally how many number of candidates were appeared. So, total number of candidates, total number of candidates is equal to how many candidates are there? There are totally 15 number of candidates. So, out of which 8 were retired army men. So, number of retired army man number of retired army men is equal to 8 and then 4 were retired principals. So, here number of retired principals is equal to 4 and what about 3 other diff others from different departments. So, number of persons number of persons from other departments, other departments which is equal to there are only 3. So, there are totally 15 persons. So, 8 plus 4 equal to 12 plus 3 is equal to 15. Now, what do you want? What is the probability of selecting a retired army man? Okay. So, probability of selecting a retired army man is equal to how many number of retired army men are there? There are 8 retired army men divided by total number of persons attended for this selection is 15. So, 8 out of 15. So, which is equal to uh, this is 0 point that is 80, 15 5s are 75 and then 50, 15 3s are 45. So, 0 0.53 is the probability of selecting a retired army man for this kind of uh, you know interview. Hope you understand right. 
So, moving on to the next problem. Here the next problem is again a bag consists contains slips with numbers between 3 and 32. Numbers between 3 and 32. So, 3 and 32 means uh, how many numbers are there that is what you need to understand first 3 and 32. Okay. So, for example, you have the numbers 1, 2, 3 and so on up to 32 means 31 comma 32. Now, see here a bag contains slips with the numbers between 3 and 32, between 3 and 32 means 3 and 32 will not be included, between 3 and 32. So, how many are there between 3 and 32? So, number of numbers between 3 and 32 is equal to that is total number of numbers. Now, let us try to find how many are there between 3 and 32. So, 3 will not be included. Out of 32, if you remove 3, there are 29. Okay. So, 32 minus 3, 32 minus 3 is equal to 29 and then 32 also not included. So, 28 numbers are there. right? So, totally there are 28 numbers. And what do you want here? What is the probability of a slip chosen con contains multiple of 4? So, what are the multiples of 4? multiples of 4. Multiples of 4 are first multiple of 4 is 4 because after 3 4 will come and 4 2s are 8, 4 3s are 12, 4 4 s are 16, 4 5s are 20, 4 6s are 24, 4 7s are 28, 4 8s are 32. But 32 is not included so that 32 will be removed. So, how many multiples of 4 are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, here number of outcomes favorable to this event is going to be 7. So, there are totally 7 number of outcomes favorable to this event. Therefore, probability of occurrence of an event is equal to number of outcomes favorable to E that is 7 divided by total number of outcomes is equal to 28. 7 how much are 28? 7 4s are 28. So, 1 divided by 4 which is equal to 0 0.25. 0 0.25 is the probability of choosing a number on the slips which is a multiple of 4. Right? Moving on to the next problem. Here the next problem is the number of hours spent by Ashu, a school student on various activities on a working day are given as given below. So, here activities are sleeping, school, homework, tuition out of home and outdoor games as well as other activities at home and the number of hours that she spent on each activity is 7, 7, 2, 3, 3, 2. Right? Now, what is the problem given here? A friend Sonu came to his house to study together. So, what is the probability that Ashu is available at home? Ashu is available at home in the sense, see here, available at home. Once you observe, sleeping, school, homework, tuition out of home, outdoor games, other activities at home. Other activities at home in the sense, how many number of activities are happening at home? So, that is what you need to understand first of all. Okay? So, here sleeping is happening at home as well as school will not happen at home and homework will happen at home, tuition out of home will not happen at home and outdoor games will not happen at home, other activities at home will happen at home. right? See, out of all these things, Ashu is available at home. So, total number of outcomes is going to be uh, like total number of hours that she is spending, 7 plus 7 equal to 14, 14 plus 2 is equal to 16. 16 plus uh, 3 is equal to 19, 19 plus 3 is equal to 22, plus 2 equal to 24. So, out of 24 hours a day, she is spending hours in this way. Now, Ashu is available at home. So, when she is available at home here, so 7 hours she is available, 2 hours she is available, 2 hours she is available. So, 7 plus 2 is equal to 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. So, 11 out of 24, 
this is what is the probability of an event that Ashu is available at home. So, 11 divided by 24 and second thing is Ashu's friend will play with Ashu. When she will play with Ashu? Once you observe here, outdoor games are there, but a friend Sonu came to his house to study together. What is the probability that Ashu is available at home and Ashu's friend will play with Ashu? Will play with Ashu in the sense when she is going out, otherwise when she is there. So, when she came to uh, Ashu's friend has come to study together, when she is studying together, then you will have to see there, when she is sleeping, when she is in the school, homework, tuition, outdoor games and then other activities at home, outdoor games are 3 hours. So, these 3 hours she can spend for playing with Ashu. So, therefore, it is going to be 3 out of 24, which is equal to 1 out of 3 8s are 24. Right? So, this is the way to answer this problem easily. Hope you understand? Yes. Moving on to the next problem. See here the problem is the following data was collected from an old age home. Bring number of people. So, here uh, like it is a kind of soft drink, 6 uh, number of people are 6 it is available and shikanji 10 and milk 16 and uh, what is this? Um, canned use is equal to 8. So, here the following data was collected from an old age home. Here the problem is the problem is what is the probability of the number of people who can take the drink which is called canned juice. So, canned juice how many are there? There are totally 8 persons uh, are having this canned juice. So, that is why the total number of people is available. So, to total number of people available is equal to 6 plus 10 is equal to 16 plus 16 equal to 32 plus 8 is equal to there are totally 40. So, what is the probability of a person who can take the juice? What is the juice? Can juice. So, that P of C is equal to there are 8 people who can take canned juice out of 40 people. So, 8 of 40 is equal to 1 divided by 5, 8 fives are 40 right. So, which is going to be 0 0.2 is the probability of the persons, the number of persons who can take canned juice. Okay? So, like that what is the probability of the persons who can take milk? So, P of M. So, the number of persons who can take milk is equal to 16. So, 16 out of 40. So, here um, 8 2s are 16, 8 fives are 40 which is equal to 0 0.54s are 20. So, this way we can easily answer this problem. So, hope you understand and um, right. So, finally, we are uh, coming to the end of this topic and in this topic we completely talk about what is the probability of occurrence of an event or what is the probability of non occurrence of an event. But in our grade 10, we will be discussing about when you are rolling a dice or when you are rolling a pair of dice and what is the probability of occurrence of certain events. And when you are picking up one card randomly from the well shuffled deck of 52 cards, what is the probability of that card is either red or black or queen whatever, whatever it is. So, we will be facing these kind of problems in grade 10. So, this is what the concept given in grade 9 and we discussed and this concept is pretty much easier, but you will have to be focused more and more on only the definition and some salient features given in this concept called probability. Hope you understand and enjoy the class. Thank you.